everybody. Good evening. Tonight is uh, October 10th, October 4th, 2024. And we are here at the event for Jackie Bong and Lacey Wright. Uh, it's their farewell dinner party to all the friends because they're moving to Thailand uh, to retire there. So hopefully they'll visit here uh, in America again. This is a wonderful couple that has a magnificent uh, significance and importance during the 60s and 70s uh, during the Vietnam War. Uh, they fight for the end of the war and the rights of humanity and things like that. So, um, tonight is their day to celebrate. Hello, good evening everyone. Good evening ladies and gentlemen. Welcome all friends here. We come here today to celebrate our friendship with Lacey and Jackie. And uh, I'm sure that today we have we have a lot of fun at this time, at this moment. And we welcome everybody here to join us for this special evening. Uh, my name is Mikey Long. This is uh, Alan Bok. My fellow, thank you, thank you everyone. I'm very honored to be one of the co MC tonight. And my fellow, can you tell a little bit about yourself so everyone knows? My name is uh, my fellow, uh, everybody here who watching tele television with the SPTN channel, you will see me every day and you get tired of it. <laughs> I don't think they ever get tired of it because you give them all infor important information in their life. And also especially in the Vietnamese community, in politics and as well. 
So my name is Alan Wolfboard, I'm an entrepreneur, but also uh, many of our friends know myself as a award-winning film producer and a producer. Um, so tonight we have the honor of uh, having you to be the MC of a farewell dinner party for our lovely friend Jackie Bong and Lacey Wright, everybody. A big hand for them, they're in the back there. And uh, we're about to start with some music that make everybody more exciting for today. And what is the song we start? Okay, so we have on my left here the three beautiful trio roses, the three roses. We have Mai V, we have Hayao, and we also have Miss Erlinda Lee, who was elected as the president of the Vietnamese community of South Orange County. They will sing for you a Vietnamese song called Ghe Ben Sai Go. A big hand for the trio. It's meaning we're going to visit the port of Saigon.
We have here the student of Professor Mitchell, director of the Lacko Musical Group. They will uh, perform a traditional musical for us. And uh, today, Professor Cho, sorry, he cannot be here today. And the first song that we will enjoy today from the performance is the Tao Dan Bo, a monostring solo, with the song that we all love. Lang Toi and Lang Toi Chi composed by Chu Kuan and arranged by Professor Min Chou and this is performed by musician Tin Ho Big Hand from Tin Ho and we will have Thuy Lan in Dan Chan and Kim Sun that with a big hand for the song Lang Toi
the next song, Jumka and Liga O. Who does know Jumka and Liga O? A very famous Vietnamese folk song. I um, hope everybody enjoy it. Thank you so much for carrying the Vietnamese uh, traditional music here and performing for us tonight. So they have a, a special singer uh, just came right now and would she like to come up and perform her name is Tan B. Please come to the stage.
xin mời bác sĩ Vũ Bỏ. Chắc hôm nay tôi phải nói hai thứ tiếng bởi vì nếu mà nói tiền không á, thì là không có phép cho lấy gì. À, hôm nay tôi rất vui và vui mà còn rất buồn nữa để tới đây để là chia tay với là Lacey và các chị thì à, tôi quen hai người này chắc lâu và hoạt động với tôi ở trên bình về nhân quyền dân quyền Việt Nam ở DC và mỗi lần về DC hay đi lên Liên Quốc tôi đều gặp à, chị Đắc Kỳ và tôi đã từng đến nhà chị chơi nhưng mà cái mà đặc biệt nhất á, là năm 2018 thì chắc Kỳ tôi chán tổ chức một cái là Việt Nam Revisit Symposium tất nhiên chị mời tất cả giáo sư đại học Mỹ và Việt Nam để tới quay lại cái vấn đề chiến tranh Việt Nam bởi vì lúc này tôi cảm là thiêu nhiệm bên này bên kia thành chị làm sư đơn chất nổi tiếng và ở ngay C-Span C-Span đã tới thì chị mời tôi là panel và tôi là người first uh, coordinator cái panel đầu tiên của những giáo sư đó thì buổi học đó rất là thành công và tôi rất nhớ về cái công ơn của chị rất kia trong cái đó là vì chị đã đem lại truy vết dịch cho Việt Nam và từ tại sao chúng ta thuộc tại sao chúng ta sẽ có cơ hội để làm được như vậy bây giờ tôi xin nói tiếng Mỹ bởi vì nếu không không có cơ hội chúng ta sẽ gì so uh, dear Lacy and Jackie uh, tonight I'm very happy to come here to see you before you go back to Thailand it is a bit the sweet moment but actually for me more bitter because you need it and uh, I know you, know, you told me you will stay here have the six months and have in Thailand, Bangkok, and you come back. But you know, somehow I meet your uh, smiling face, Jackie, and your present. And I know you for a long time, and we've been working together in DC for human rights, for you know, uh, voting, everything. And now the vote next uh, uh, November, I remember you a lot, Jackie. She worked very, very hard in DC. So, uh, I can talk a long time about what she did in DC. You're going when she came here, she don't work too much, you know. But uh, I can have you know, a time of the week. You can go into uh, Yahoo, Google, yeah, and uh, put the name Jackie Bone Right, you know what she did. So, uh, this song is dedicated for you. This song means, you know, um, in the war, we have uh, some uh, time to come back to see the family and had to go back to the battlefield to uh, fight for the uh, communists. But I hope this one, the, we come back to see Vietnam someday, forever, when Vietnam become free and no more communists. So this song is for you and for all the world who have been fighting in the war of Vietnam. The song is named Hoa Xuân Vân Thành Phú. A big hand for all musicians here, and Đại Thanh. Yeah, see, big hand for Đại Thanh. And uh, I had to say something about uh, Alan Ford. I appreciate the uh, movie, uh, the last time I saw when we fundraising for Dalai Lama. I hope to say you can bring out the movie, and it touched my heart, and you did a good job, Alan Ford. Thank you. Thank
You're not just a that talented doctor, but you're a great singer as well. So continue I'm so with that. Thank you for helping a lot of people. People always told me this. The doctor, they love to sing. Can you explain why? Because there's the say, like I say, right? You know, you, you talk about that. Because, because we say, we didn't have this. We say, she, kiem, bắt, me. You know, oh. that's a she, we làm gì cũng được Và nhất là cái nhạc và thi tâm là một trong một thành muốn có sức khỏe thì người thích yêu đời qua dòng nhạc qua thơ qua vũ vi vũ vũ vi và hôm nay chúng ta quan trọng nhất là tình bạn tình thân hữu có gặp nhau ở đây vui với nhau thì chúng ta sẽ luôn luôn có cuộc đời sống đời vui khỏe như chương trình tiêu chúng tôi một tuần ba ngày tuần thứ hai thứ ba thứ nhất trên ABC quý thank you thank you bác sĩ thank you Come on, see you all. Thank you, see you all. Are you all ready for the main program tonight? Yes. Okay. So uh, first, I'd like to thank the restaurant for uh, catering the food tonight. So the the food will be served right now. So we're gonna enjoy. So up next, I'd like to invite two very, very, very special couple. The first person is the Queen Jackie Bong and the the King Lacey Wright. Please a big hand for Jackie and Lacey. Ngày hai nhân vật chính ngày hôm nay, hai người bạn mà rất rất nhiều người chúng ta yêu mến và đối với chúng tôi, cô Jackie là một người để lại rất nhiều dấu ấn cho nhiều thế hệ của chúng tôi. Isn't she gorgeous, everyone? Yeah. Okay, so Lacey, I special order this for this tonight's event. And I did not, I did not plan that she's gonna wear this to match this at all. And look at, so I wanted to give you this so you can put it on your beautiful uh, queen. All right. <laughs> wow. Oh my God, that's gorgeous. Wow. That fits you really, really, really well. Oh my God. Doesn't she look like a queen? Yes. <laughs> all right. Here you go, my dear. Thank you so much, Alan and Alan, our two extraordinary MCs. Um, as you know, uh, we came here two years ago, and uh, we moved from Virginia to Orange County. And uh, family members, as well as elementary school classmates, high school classmates, and a lot of our friends here welcome us. And we enjoy the beautiful weather, the good food, and we enjoy the flowers, and the nice climate, and we are so happy here. But as you know, in April, we went to Bangkok and we visited our eldest son who is retiring in Bangkok after 31 years working for corporations, multinational corporations. So we, Lacey and I, we used to work at the U.S. Embassy in Thailand in Bangkok in 1985 to 1987. We love Bangkok, and when our son 
went there. He's here now. He asked us whether we would like to join him. And we are so happy to have him there and we want to retire there with him. And uh, Lacey said that many of his American friends have retired in Bangkok. And he has a lot of friends, more friends than he does here in Orange County. So I said, okay, so let's go there and retire there. And uh, we came back, we decided to move. We wanted to sell our house, our cars and everything. And uh, many of our friends for the past two months invited us for farewell parties. And they, most of them didn't want us to move. They advised us to stay here and uh, some said, why don't you go there half of the time and stay back here half of the time. And this is what my better half, Lizzie Wright, is going to tell you why. Please do. Well, let me just add this to what Jackie uh, has said. Uh, when we uh, first decided to move to Thailand, and we went around and started talking to our friends about it, their common response was, you're going to move where? <laughs> now, what they really meant by that was, you're going to move where at your age? <laughs> well, as we talked about it, we figured they, ha they had a point. Uh, we have really grown attached to so many uh, people here, many of whom are in this room. You've become good friends. And so we thought, why not split the difference? We will spend half of our time here and half of our time in Thailand. And so that's what we decided. Good, thank you. Okay, so let's see. We, we are very grateful to all of you. We have just invited family members and dear, dear friends tonight. So let's see, is going to dedicate a song to all of you. Are you ready?
company in Santa Ana bearing his name and he have he's a, a very close friend to Jackie and Lacey and he have a very very special announcement to make please welcome Mr. Mark Roberts thank you this is not fair to follow that act how can I follow Lacey's fabulous singing, my god! So all of us here, we all know Lacey and Jackie quite well. Um, both have, Jackie and Lacey both have remarkable stories, as we know, that go back more than half a century. You know, theirs is a history, as many of us know, of tragedy, triumph, and perseverance. And I want to just talk briefly. Perseverance to get through incredibly difficult circumstances. Perseverance to help as many people as they can, whether helping the many Vietnamese people escape the Saigon Embassy in 1975, or the perseverance and the courage, I would say, to organize immigrant voters in Virginia, California and many places in between. The stories they have shared with me and I'm sure many of you here are remarkable stories of grit, determination, and also love. Love for each other and love for people around them. The many people they know, us and many others, and also the many people they did not know but still helped. And their selfless actions affected those people's lives in absolutely profound ways. While both Jackie and Lacey are small by nature, they are giants in stature. They've made an outsized difference in our world, which I would personally like to thank each of them uh, and acknowledge that tonight. So thank you, Jackie Bong. Thank you, Lacey Wright. And speaking of someone who had the courage and integrity to do whatever he could to help local Vietnamese escape the communists of Vietnam in April of 1975. Tony and Pauline Suarez are here tonight. Yeah. Tony may be responsible single-handedly for getting more people out during the fall of Saigon than any other civilian. This, sir, is a real hero right here. Thank you, Tony. The story is amazing if you haven't heard it. It's amazing. I think a lot of people have known that. So I'd like to thank Tony and Pauline for inviting our next guest, our next speaker, who I have the honor of introducing. Like many people here, our next speaker's parents are boat people. They're refugees who also fled the communists of Vietnam. Like virtually every immigrant family, this person had to work hard from a very young age, after school, when school was out, working in the market, doing things like cleaning the floor, stocking the shelves, helping out in any way he could to help support his parents and his family, his siblings. This is called the American Dream. His parents fled a foreign land. They came to America for freedom. Freedom of assembly, of religion, of speech, of the press, so many other freedoms. Simply put, for a better future. This is what immigrants do, come to America for a better life, knowing what we believe to be self-evident, that all men and women are created equal, that we are endowed by our creator with certain inalienable lights, rights, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. We believe in the rule of law, we believe in the pursuit of justice. We believe that everyone has the right 
to opportunity. So long as we work hard, we take care of our families, and we look out for our communities. Derek Tran enlisted in the Army at the age of 18. He earned his law degree, but rather than use it to get rich, he focused on helping others, fighting big corporations against workplace discrimination. This is someone who has contributed to society in many ways throughout his life. Some like to call it giving back. America gave Derek Tran's family the opportunity for freedom and hope for a better life. Like so many immigrants, his gratitude for those opportunities inspired Derek Tran to contribute to society, give back if you will. And today, that American dream is alive and well. When this child of immigrants from a war-torn country works hard, contributes in so many ways, and today is running for the United States Congress, how proud will we be as a community when one of our own, my whole family, by the way, is Vietnamese, so when one of our own finally is elected to represent in Congress, Little Saigon, right here in Orange County. While tonight is not a political event, rather it's a celebration of all that Jackie and Jackie Vong and Lacey Wright have done throughout their lives, having a Vietnamese candidate here running for Congress is indirectly a result of that organizing that Jackie has done for decades to promote candidates of Vietnamese descent here in the United States. Sometimes they were Republicans, sometimes they were Democrats. Tonight, I have the honor of introducing to you an American citizen, born of Vietnamese immigrants, raised in the, our communities, lives in Little Saigon, knows our community, and knows firsthand the struggles of so many immigrants have had to endure. One of our own, Derek Tran. Everybody, a big hand for our soon-to-be Congressman Derek Tran. Thank you, Robert. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, uh, Tony and Pauline. Thank you, uh, Tony, for your heroism that helps so many of the Vietnamese people escape. Today, we honor and bid happy retirement to Go Jackie and Joe Lacey with their unrivaled dedication to community and service. I ask you all to please join me in toasting these two remarkable individuals. Go Jackie, Joe Lacey. Thank you for all you've done for our community. For me to be standing here is a testament to your life's work, making sure Vietnamese Americans have the same opportunity and access to succeed that all Americans should have, no matter their adversities or hardships. You worked your entire career to see that our community is strong and thriving, ensuring that we not only smoothly integrate into this country but to retain our heritage, our culture, and deep love for our homeland that will one day be free from oppression. We cheers you too and all your success, and we will miss you too dearly. Thank you, please join me in toasting. Thank you, Go Jackie, Jewel Lacey. Thank you so much, cheers. Cheers, cheers everybody. Thank you, everyone. You think you're done? I am. Yes, I might. Well. I, I suppose that you're going to sing. That's the quickest way to get everyone to exit a building. Yes. <laughs> and if you don't sing, I ask someone to sing for you. Another surprise for you guys. Dr. Dr. Mo Baden. He's a good voice too. Please welcome. Thank you, Derek. Uh, good luck to you. Come on, if you love it, you. Okay. In Vietnam, when I was a kid, I used to sing in English because nobody understands what I'm singing, so they don't know how, how bad. But when I come to the United States, my accent is thick, and uh, I don't want to uh, become a, a joke to my friends. So, 
for the last 35 years, I sing in Vietnamese. I come back to my root, and I, I feel the, 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 the affection, the meaning of this Vietnamese song. But tonight, uh, Cô Chaki, she like me to sing a, an English song, so uh, I'm gonna go back to my childhood time and try to sing it, uh, an English song, okay? Happy uh, and peaceful retirement to uh, Lacey and uh, Jackie. And come back here often, okay? We love you, we want you to come back here and we can get together again. Um, and uh, I'm gonna sing the song that, uh, wow, when I got accepted to med school, so I try uh, the R7, uh, all my belongings go down here to uh, go to UCI Medical School. And I, I, I listen to this song for more than, I think probably a hundred times because it's a song that I uh, I recorded to my uh, to the girl that I knew her since she's 16 years old and uh, and uh, and when I when I say goodbye to go down here, I know uh, thing in the future probably won't happen the way we want and. Uh, <laughs> And uh, today is her birthday, <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna sing this song right here waiting. The song that I dedicate to uh, my ex. Uh, uh, we we didn't we didn't go anywhere, but uh, I still remember the song. Hopefully, Go Chucky will like this song right here waiting from Richard Marx. <laughs>
sẽ chờ em dưới mấy xin ngày đó để hãy giết người một đoạn ông tư đêm ngược cầm ta gọi em trong gió sáng lung lăng hồn ta khóc bao giờ đại thành đánh theo đánh theo cái youtube cho nên cao quá running for the state assembly in the 70th district. His name is Jimmy Pham. He's the son of a lawyer who was one of the founding members of Little Saigon in Orange County. He wanted to continue the footsteps of his father and follow the role of his mother, Mrs. Elizabeth Mong Tu, a pharmacist and a former president of Dung Vun High School alumni. Please stand up, Mrs. Mong Tu. Are you here tonight? Mrs. Mong Tu, are you here tonight? Oh, there she is. <laughs> hello, hello, my dear. <laughs> thank you, thank you. And uh, please, uh, can we have up here? Oh, there's Jimmy. Hello, Jimmy. <laughs> How are you? Good, I'm very well. Thank you. A big hand for Jimmy, everyone. Uh, thank you so much, everybody. Thank you for Jackie and Lacey for inviting me today to speak. I want to um, first can uh, always go back saying what well, they're singing is making me uh, tear up. I want to be one of his ex-girlfriends. But I am not that sad. So basically, this um, I am Jimmy Pham. I'm running for State Assembly District 70. This is in the state legislature, the state assembly. Um, we have this position can bring a lot back to our district in District 70. We can bring a lot of money back. We can bring a lot of bills. We want to talk to the constituents, okay? And we want to know what they want because we need more representation with only two Vietnamese in the state assembly right now. And with, this is the largest community with the largest amount of Vietnamese people in the in the world outside of Vietnam and we need to go to the state assembly and we need a voice up there and that's what I'm running for that's why I'm doing that okay I stand in a room today with a lot of giants I know who's in the room people that have done things probably four five ten times more than I would fathom to do in my career I'm an immigration attorney I've fought for immigrants in ICE detention. I see people here who have been sitting in political prisons in Vietnam. I see Lacey who was the last ambassador, if, I, if Lacey can confirm, to leave Vietnam in 1975. So I am honored to be here today. And also with Jackie, if you guys know, she's the president and CEO of the Vietnamese American Voter Association. So she knows how to win elections. And we need to go out and we need to vote. We need to vote for good leaders in this community. We need to get our ballots in October 7th, and we need to come back and we need to put it in for good leaders to represent this community, okay? I moved back to Westminster in 19, uh, 2019, really to be close to my mom, who was walking around, and, and, and my grandmother. 
and I saw the fighting in the Little Saigon area, the city of Westminster, I had no intention for running for office. But when I saw that and the community wanted me to run, I put my name in the hat. I ran for Westminster City Council 2022, and I'm running again in 2024 for the Estate Assembly. So I want to remind everybody, please go out and vote. Pick good leaders. Read up about them. We cannot put bad leaders in our communities. They will ruin our communities. They will take your taxpayer dollars that everybody pays here, and they will flat out not use it for the best, okay? So I appreciate everybody here today. Thank you so much, Jackie and Lacey, for inviting me, and I appreciate it, okay? Thank you so, so much. Thank you so much, Jimmy. It's gonna be a top five, but we roll for you. Okay, buddy. All right. As you know, we're all nostalgic, reminiscing about Vietnam. Before 19, like, before 1975, Vietnam was known as the Pearl of Asia. Our economic was booming. We were wonderful, one of the, one of the very uh, wonderful country of Vietnam. And then it all ended in 1975 when the communists took over. So with that said, let's uh, welcome the next singers up here. She's gonna sing for you. Hello Vietnam, bonjour Vietnam. Please, a big hand for Dolly Bicknell. Dolly, are you here? Come on Dolly, come up the stage. We can't wait to hear your song about Vietnam. Here you go, my dear. Good evening. Uh, my name is Dolly Bicknell. I attended the same school with Chi Chaki in Saigon, uh, South Vietnam. Um, Beng and I would like to wish you the very best, uh, Lacey and Jackie, in your retirement. Today, I would like to sing a song in French. Uh, I picked this song because it closely describes my feelings and wishes for our motherland. So here is Bonjour Vietnam by Marc Lavoine.
Thank you, Dolly. You're going to come up again, right? Sing another song after this? Okay. Up next, we have a very special uh, guest here tonight. We're very honored to have uh, him part of the uh, program tonight. I'm being honored to introduce to you the last son of Emperor Bao Dai. We have here Prince Bao An and his wife. Please stand up for us to recognize. So our next song, made by famous Fang Trinastra, My Way, which is one of my favorite songs, and it's also a special meaning for those who came to the U.S. with nothing but our resilience and our determination. We had to adapt to a new life, and each of us did it in his or her own way. It was a true a Prince Bao An, the candidate Derek Tran, candidate Jimmy Fan, and all the rest of us. Please welcome singer Ngam Mi. She's going to perform a song called My Way. And Ngam Mi is a good friend of Jackie Bong for over 30 years. Xin chào tất cả quý vị, uh, Nga Mi xin hân hoan uh, được uh, góp mặt trong buổi uh, tạm biệt chị Jackie và uh, ông Larry và uh, White. Um, được biết chị rất là lâu năm nhưng mà uh, hồi ở Virginia thì Nga Mi cũng ở như Virginia và được uh, làm quen với chị và được biết những cái hoạt động rất là quý báu của chị đối với uh, tị nạn người ở bên uh, um, Việt Nam tại hải ngoại em cảm ơn chị rất nhiều đã có công lao rất là nhiều trong cái um, truyền bá những điều hay những uh, lẽ phải cho người Việt tại hải ngoại <cười> hôm nay em gửi tặng chị My Way là một cái bài mà chị yêu cầu phải không ạ? Dạ. mời quý vị nghe My Way The end is near, and so I face the final curve. My friends, I'll say it clear, I'll state my case, of which I'm certain. I've lived a life that full, I've traveled rich, and every Much more than this, I did it my way. Regrets, I had a few, but then again, to feel to mention, I did what I had to do. I saw it through without. I planned each shadow course, each careful step along the byway, but more, much more than this, I did it by.
Billy Blue Boys. She sang her way. A big hand for Gammy. The song that always inspires us, right? And we will make you uh, special after we listen to this song. And now, I would like to introduce to you guys a young man back into the 80s. He all along escaped from Vietnam and he showed his brave against the pirates. And then he ended up in the refugee camp in Thailand. And tonight he flew, he flew in here with his mother from San Francisco to thank Lacey and Jackie who have assisted him migrate to the U.S. Please stand up, Alan Juan, to be recognized. Please come up to the stage and say a few words for us. Sorry that I have a uh, asthma right now. I feel nervous. Yeah. Thank you for uh, Tita Chucky. Uh, came to the uh, Thailand when I was there. When I just get a cup of the water and uh, uh, the food, suddenly someone called me. It's my name. I said, surprised that why someone called me at that time. 1986 and it's the uh, uh, auntie Jackie stop by and then changed my life because it's at that time it's the um, I thought it's the it's hard to to contact my mom my dad and uh, my boss and my dad so I'm I just said, okay, just stay here and wishing is that someone will come and uh, um, Auntie Jackie come. And from that one, it changed. And we changed my life, I think. And thank you, uh, Dr. Jackie. Uh, I cannot say anything, but uh, really. Good time is uh, that support me. That's why is I challenge myself, and I I work for the um, the hospital to be uh, X-ray the first uh, the first Vietnamese working for X-ray technician in uh, hospital in Philippines, Thailand, and I came here. Uh, I work hard to go to, go to school, go to school. Now I work for a good company, and I always remember her. But it's hard for me to contact her, and I send her the letter. Maybe it go to the spam, Yahoo spam, and then it go to uh, I thought she in uh, Virginia, and now she in uh, uh, California, and that's what when, when my friend told me that she's here. So that's why I the first time I take my mom here to say thanks to her. Thank you very much, Jackie. Thank you, Lacey. Thank you, another one. Yeah. And now we know how and why Go Jackie Bomb always leave a mark on a lot of people. A big hand for Go Jackie Bomb and Lacey. A big, big hand for Jackie and Lacey. And now we have another young lady who has also made her way up here, Miss Elizabeth Lee from Indianapolis. She is an author and she will say a few remarks on her insightful book on Vietnam. Please welcome to the stage, Miss Elizabeth Lee. Thank you so much. I'm Elizabeth Lee, Chuk Jung Lee, 
uh, and I've known Jackie for a little while. Uh, she invited me to speak about the book that I published in uh, September 2021, and the title is Vietnam Geopolitical Affairs. This book actually offers insight into our complex living history of Vietnam and of the world. And uh, the book is compart consists of three parts. Part one is basically the history of Vietnam from the year 938 when Mo Quyen reclaims Annam's independence from the 1,000 years of Chinese domination. Part two of the book is contains what led to the Vietnamese revolt in the 19th century against colonial France, communism, the Nguyen Phu, and the events that led to the Vietnam War. Now the part one and two lay the historical foundation for part three, which is the translation of the book. The original book is called Chin De Vietnam, published in 1965 by the author Le Van Dong, my father. So in his book, Chin De Vietnam, Le Van Dong reached out to teach us about Vietnam. <clears throat> Where does a small country like Vietnam stand on the world stage? What historical baggage and assets does Vietnam carry? And how can Vietnam propel herself onto the path of development for the sake of future generations? And in 1965, he already spoke about the roots, the origins, and the eventually, eventual collapse of the Soviet Union the centuries-old conflict between the West and Russia, and the rise of China in modern times as an economic powerhouse. And he treated the fundamental questions that are still valid today. The first one is, would Vietnamese leaders perceive the roots of this conflict between the West and Russia, or between any of the superpowers? Would Vietnamese leaders allow their children and grandchildren to be caught in a crossfire between the superpowers, or would they use the dynamics of these conflicts to their advantage? And finally, how would Vietnamese leaders deal with rising populist China, a neighbor that dominated Vietnam for more than 1,000 years? And I want to thank you, Jijaki, for this opportunity, for your leadership, but mostly happy retirement for both of you. And now, may you have good health. May the wind always be at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face and rains fall softly upon your fields so you, can, you may accomplish your dreams. Thank you for your attention. Thank you so much, Elizabeth. That was very inspiring. Thank you. Up next, I'd like to invite a very special attorney. Her name is Michelle Mai. She was very inspired with the young people that she feel like singing when we were young. Here, an attorney turned singer a big hand for Michelle Mai, everybody. Tôi từ lúc mà còn là sinh viên, tôi rất ngưỡng mộ chị Jackie và lúc đó chỉ nhìn chị như là một thần tượng chứ đâu có được gần. À, thành thử đến lúc qua California có cơ hội gặp chị Jackie và ông Lacy rất là mừng và thấy như là <cười> gặp hai người tri kỷ 
Khi chị báo tin là đi qua Bangkok, tôi rất buồn vì thấy mình chưa có cái dịp để mà spend time với người mà mình à, vẫn ngưỡng mộ từ bé. Nay thấy ông uh, Lê Si báo là sẽ hát thời gian ở bên Cali và hát ở bên uh, Bangkok thì rất mừng và xin chị xin chúc cho tôi vẫn thường gọi là cô cô Jackie chứ không dám gọi là chị và vẫn giữ cái thói quen đó xin chúc cô chú luôn nhiều sức khỏe và luôn nhớ tới những người bạn ở nước tôi Sài Gòn bài hát này à, xin tặng một cặp đôi tuy đã có tuổi nhưng mà rất là thanh xuân bài khúc hát thanh xuân hay one day của Johan Strauss lời việt phạm duy
nhiều sức khỏe thật là vui với người con trai ở bên Bangkok xứ mà em rất là thích và nhớ đừng quên biết tôi Sài Gòn và những người bạn thân quen của cô chú. I absolutely adore your voice. It's very gentle. So you know as an attorney if your voice can sing that well you're going to do a great job for you as an attorney. So make sure you find her. Thank you. Up next I'd like to introduce a journalist He's also a TV commentator and a community organizer, an author, a martial art teacher, and he's also a poet as well. Please, a big hand for our friend, Mr. Chu Tak Tien. He's gonna sing a song for you called A Time For Us. In the Romeo and Juliet movie, this song is for Jackie and Lacey. Thưa quý vị, thưa các bạn, thật sự tâm hơn hẳn để gặp cô Jackie sau khi sang Mỹ trong một vài cái chương trình chung Chứ còn ở Việt Nam mà không có dám đến cái chuyện bắt tay cô Tại vì cô là phu nhân của thầy của chúng tôi là thầy Nguyễn Văn Bông, thầy là Quang Hố Và hồi đó chúng tôi rất là khâm phục cô Và sau hôm nay, trước khi sang Mỹ gặp lại cô thì tôi là chào cô và thưa cô Cô bảo ơi đừng có gọi cô đồng chi được rồi Ở từ đó chúng tôi quen nhau Và được cảm ơn chị đã cho phép tôi được gặp bà chị Đúng nhau tôi phải gọi vâng thưa cô Tại vì, <cười> vì cái lưu ghi thức ngày xưa chúng ta phải tôn trọng Và hôm nay và trước khi đi sang Thái Lan mà không trở lại nữa Thì tôi xin phép hát tặng bà bài Romeo Juliet Một thái của mình Xin mời quý vị từ đây
And up next, I'd like to introduce a former Kohong Dej Ono Bosu, alumni tour doctor. She also uh, loves to sing tonight for you all tonight. Please a big hand for Dr. Gabby Anthu. Dr. Gabby Anthu, are you here? There she is. She will be performing a song called Yung Bu Yang Ho. And it's also my farewell, say goodbye to everybody tonight as well. I have to head to another event. Our beautiful MC, Mai V, she will take over our place for tonight. Thank you. to celebrate the retirement of um, Jackie and Lacey. And I met her a couple years ago when she came back to California. And we met at a, um, it was the Vietnamese New Year celebration. I saw her, but I didn't talk to her. And then a few months later, uh, last year, 2023, I attended the wedding uh, of one of a common friend and we spent the whole wedding talking about our lives and what happened since 1975. And then I also want you guys to know that Jackie has a book um, that she wrote. And um, Jackie, can you remind me about the title? Because for some reason I'm blanking out and I can't remember the title of your book. has something with her name. Her name in Vietnamese is uh, um, Autumn Cloud. And what is the book? Is the book named Autumn Cloud? Okay, so I, after I met her, I went home and I went on the internet and I was able to buy a copy of her book, Autumn Cloud, um, in English from Amazon.com. And I only paid 20 bucks for it, which is a bargain because a few months after I bought the book, it became $65 um, after she gave a, um, like a lecture about the book at Santa Ana Library. So anyway, um, I am very happy to know Chiyaki uh, and Lacey, and I have a lot of admiration for you. So my hat to you for being one of the Kumon team. You know, we are alumni from the same school and I'm sitting at table three here with a bunch of other alumni um, of the school. So I'm going to um, sing this song and I would like to invite all of you to come out and dance the Paso Doble. This is um, the songs in Books and Home. Oh, it's 
Let's end the program for tonight. We're gonna to continue to sing for tonight. So thank you so much and good luck to Jackie and Lacey on your journey to Thailand, okay? Bye-bye.